Island Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green confirming the first day of school will now be on September 14th. That pushes the start of classes back two weeks later than previously planned. And last night, the Warwick School Committee voted to have distance learning when students do go back to school again virtually. But across the state, there are still many questions for parents and students in many districts. Alexander Leslie joining us now with more on what a letter to Rhode Island superintendents explained about this decision. Well, in that letter, Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green told superintendents that she hoped that the delayed start date would really just help teachers prepare for students. So this means what would have been the first week of school are, is now just five extra planning days for teachers. Now, before the announcement was made, the governor's press secretary told Eyewitness News that the governor has been hearing from teachers who say they do need more time to plan for the school year. So with this new date, a decision on how students would return to school has been delayed. As we've previously reported, that was supposed to come next week. However, the letter states the decision will still come at least two weeks before the new planned start date, and the call will be made by the Department of Health. Last night, the two largest teachers unions in Rhode Island said they wanted to at least start the school year with full distance learning. We'd much rather be sending students back in school. That, that is the best possible option. But we also have to make sure it's safe. And at some point, we know this is going to end. If this was never going to end, the options might be different. But we do have an option that keeps everyone safe. And we saw it this spring. And we're expecting to hear more about this from Governor Raimondo in her weekly coronavirus briefing later this afternoon with input from the health director along with the education commissioner. That's happening at 1 o'clock, and you can watch it on WPRI 12 or on WPRI.com. Live in Pawtucket, Alexandra Leslie, Eyewitness News.